Hello and welcome back to Whitney Alex Works recap of Bachelor in Paradise Season 8, Episode 8 and 9, Week 5. Before we begin, please like and subscribe here at Whitney Alex Works for more recap videos just like this one. Alright, let's dive into recapping Week 5 of Bachelor in Paradise. We begin Episode 8 right where we left off. Lace has returned to the beach to find out if Rodney is still available. But it seems Rodney has decided to pursue Eliza from Clayton's season and Lace is going to find out the hard way. Lace asks to talk to Rodney and they head over to talk privately and Lace tells Rodney that she does still have feelings for him but Rodney tells Lace the truth that he went on a date with Eliza and ultimately he has stronger feelings for her. Hearing this crushes Lace as she just had a feeling all week about this exact situation and her worst fears have now come true. And after learning that Rodney is moving on from her, Lace decides to leave Paradise heartbroken and crushed. Rodney feels bad, but he knows he had to follow his heart, acknowledging that he did not want to hurt Lace, as this is just a friendly reminder that despite the romantic and mesmerizing atmosphere of Paradise, the competition is cutthroat. And after Lace leaves, a worried Eliza goes over and talks to Rodney. Rodney lets Eliza know what just happened and they confirm their connection for each other as Rodney now has set his sights on Eliza above anybody else. And with Lace leaving, she lets the guys know that there are some other men at the hotel trying to romance the OG women, which causes the men to start to freak out. As suddenly, the men realize that no one is safe and Brandon starts freaking out, thinking that Serene may have started a relationship with someone else. And the other men try to calm him down, but Brandon is having a hard time, saying he is so in love with Serene and he doesn't want to lose her. But meanwhile, Serene is also missing. Brandon and she does not want to pursue anyone else other than Brandon. We head back to the hotel where the new guys are trying to make a connection with the OG women but some aren't getting anywhere as it seems most of the original women are still hoping there's a chance with the original men. Then in the morning Jesse Palmer shows up and the women get nervous because when Jesse shows up something is about to happen. Jesse lets them know what happened to Lace and with Lace's sudden departure the women start freaking out too and a lot of them reflect knowing that the original men might have moved on with someone else on the beach. But decisions need to be made about the new men that have showed up as we soon find out that Victoria may be interested in Alex from Rachel Lindsay's season of The Bachelorette. While both Shanae and Brittany are both interested in Tyler and everyone seems to like hanging out with Adam from the Bachelor Australia franchise. But this means that Rick and Olu are headed home because no one is interested in pursuing a relationship with them. And sadly the two have to pack their bags and suddenly leave. And we learn that Victoria, despite still having feelings for Johnny, is interested in possibly seeing a possible relationship with Alex. But all of this makes her more confused than ever. Meanwhile, back at the beach, Logan is in a full-blown love rectangle all of a sudden. He just went on a date with Sarah and then apparently... Kate, who's been hooking up with Jacob this whole time, secretly told Logan that she is interested in him and Logan was all for it. And apparently Logan is ready to jump ship from Sarah and Trinae and is going all in on Kate. And they declare for each other and it's awkward because it's secretive as Jacob kisses Kate in front of Logan with, I can't believe I'm saying this, poor Jacob is about to get crushed as he really has feelings for Kate. And with Kate and Logan secretly declaring for each other, Kate of course gets a date card. And everybody thinks Kate is going to ask Jacob, but she surprises the whole beach when she asks to talk to Jacob first. And whispers begin as everybody is shocked. 
Kate then leads Jacob over to a beach bed to basically break up with him and let him know she is interested in Logan now. This, of course, shocks Jacob, but he takes it surprisingly well despite having feelings for Kate. And then they head back up to the group, and Kate then decides to ask Logan. To which he happily says yes, but this makes Sarah completely pissed off, and suddenly Logan asks to talk to her, which she reluctantly says yes. And they two head down to the beach to talk and Logan asks to hold her hand while he actively breaks it off with her and Sarah is frustrated as she says she doesn't want to talk anymore and leaves Logan to head out with Kate. And what's funny is now Jacob and Sarah are reflecting with each other as they both feel slotted by Logan and Kate and they start to think about connecting with each other. And so Logan and Kate head off together and they have a nice and enjoyable massage date where they further their connection and they reflect on them taking a leap to pursue a potentially serious relationship together. And they end up kissing and deepening their connection all the while Jacob and Sarah seem to want revenge. Meanwhile, back at the hotel, Victoria is still feeling things for Alex, who apparently rubs her head, and that got her swooning, and she admits she is open to Alex, but she knows she still has feelings for Johnny, and of course, Johnny is back at the beach, declaring his love for only Victoria, and then Victoria suddenly gets a date card, and she asks Alex on this date, he carries her off romantically, and everyone is really happy for them. But on the date, Victoria admits she is a little conflicted as she knows she has a connection back on the beach, but she couldn't deny that she might be interested in Alex. And Alex wants to pursue Victoria, and he doesn't want to give up on her as he knows he likes her, and it seems like Victoria is finally opening up to Alex, but again, she admits she is confused and she doesn't know what to do about her feelings. And we also learn that Brittany is all into Tyler and they start kissing while Shanae is upset as she too likes Tyler but she knows that Brittany likes him also. And best friend Shanae and Genevieve console each other as Genevieve tells Shanae that she needs to go and find Tyler but Shanae feels hopeless about the situation and then Genevieve sneaks around the hotel and finds Brittany and Tyler making out by the pool and she's like oh boy this isn't good news for Shanae. But Shanae suddenly misses Logan all of a sudden and is hopeful she could possibly reconnect with him. But of course, that looks unlikely as it seems Logan and Kate have become a solid couple in paradise. We begin episode 9 with a ton of new intros. We have all the new men and more of the new women having their own introductions with Australian contestants getting a shout out with Adam as well as Florence having their intros. But surprisingly, no one has even tried to romance either of them yet. Also, there is a looming anxiety on the beach as the OG women are going to be coming back soon after Temptation Week. Jesse Palmer shows up and visits the OG women again and lets them know that they are finally going back to the beach, but he warns them that it is a very different beach now as things have changed and their original love interest might not be available anymore. And of course, this makes the women anxious and worried as they have no idea what to expect anymore. And soon, the OG women return to the beach in waves. Genevieve is the first to come back down to the beach, and she beams straight to Aaron. She goes right for the jugular and asks Aaron to tell her everything, good or bad. And he tells her that he missed her and that he has been missing her the whole time. And this makes Genevieve emotional, and they kiss each other and hug as both are so happy to see each other. And it seems through Temptation Week, Aaron and Genevieve are stronger than ever. But Shanae is next to come down the beach and there is a fire in her eyes as she suddenly wants Logan back after a week of making out with Tyler and she finds out that Logan is hooking up with Kate who apparently called Shanae out at Clayton's Women Tell All episode, and Shanae is furious. They both tell each other that they dated other people, but Shanae somehow thought that Logan was waiting for her to return, but she is in for a rude awakening when it seems like Logan and Kate are full-on into each other now, and Shanae cannot handle it. She is mad, and after seeing Logan and Kate together, she asks to talk to Logan again. 
This time, she chews out Logan for choosing Kate over her, but she fails to mention she was basically ready to go to the Boom Boom Room with Tyler like a day ago, but really, it seems like Shanae is upset that it's Kate that took Logan away from her. And then we see Kate's perspective. She says she is not afraid of Shanae, and in fact, she is relishing in Shanae's outburst, as she reminds us viewers that Shanae terrorized the women on Clayton's season, and this is apparently karma for her her being a bachelor villain. But with Shanae's showdown cooling off, it seems Logan and Kate are better than ever. Meanwhile, with Genevieve and Shanae back on the beach, the men know more of the original women are coming back. And this makes Jacob nervous as he hopes that Jill has moved on from him because he isn't feeling her anymore. But of course, Jill is still into Jacob and has been holding on to her crystals from her date with him, hoping he still feels the same way she does. And when Jill comes down the beach, she talks to Jacob, but Jacob tells her the truth that he made a connection with Kate and tells Jill the cold hard truth, which she has moved on for good. And Jill is so upset, she thought Jacob was for her, and she decides to leave paradise as she says that she doesn't want to start over again. And with that, Jill leaves paradise, upset and crying that things didn't work out with Jacob. Soon more women are showing up and next to arrive is Brittany. Brittany heads to talk to Andrew and she lets him know that she has moved on with Tyler and she hopes everything is good between them. And Andrew admits he started something with Jasenia and they realize that they are better off as friends. And with that, Brittany and Andrew are officially moving on from each other. Then Serene and Victoria are next to arrive, and with Serene, Brandon and Serene run to each other as they truly missed each other, and it was so sweet to see that they seemed to be really into each other, even telling each other that they love each other, and it seems like Brandon and Serene are in it for the long haul, and there may be a possible engagement for these two lovebirds at the end of Paradise. And then we see Victoria and Johnny, and they too missed each other, but there is now someone else on Victoria's mind. And Victoria and Johnny sit down and talk about the new men that arrived, and she lets him know about Alex and how they made a connection, but she was hesitant to pursue her attraction to him because of her feelings for Johnny. And Johnny is disappointed as he doesn't know what to think about Victoria's feelings as she admits she is torn. As Alex is older and seems more stable in his life, where Victoria thinks that Johnny might be too young as he's still figuring out his life and what he ultimately wants. And Johnny and Victoria are now at odds as Johnny wants to fight for her, but ultimately he wants Victoria to make a decision between him or Alex. And soon it's nighttime and now the new three men show up. Adam, Alex, and Tyler are arriving at the beach and Brittany is so excited about Tyler as she talks to him and they admit they are really into each other and then they kiss each other hoping for a true genuine connection. But then all of a sudden just send who's been with Andrew suddenly pulls Tyler to talk to him and this makes Brittany upset as she doesn't know what Jacinia's angle is. Meanwhile, we have another love triangle heating up as Johnny now sees his competition for Victoria and he is getting upset about Alex talking to Victoria as he is getting heated about their connection. And with that, we leave this episode with Johnny upset about Victoria's connection with Alex as Victoria is going to have to make a decision, otherwise she might lose one or both of them. And that's it for week 5 of Bachelor in Paradise Season 8 with the big return of the original women shaking up Paradise to its core. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe at Whitney Alex Works for more recap videos in the future. And see you next week for week 6 of Bachelor in Paradise where love triangles are going to be decided as jealousy and the competition keep heating up.